हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द इंजीनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम मरियम वी हैव स्टार्टेड द सीरीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसिस इन सर्किट थेरी बाय रॉबर्ट एल बुलेस्टेड दिस इज अवर चैप्टर नंबर वन इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस द सेमी कंडक्टर डायोड्स एंड दिस इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर डायोड टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज रेक्टिफिकेशन वी हैव क्रिएटेड द सीरीज ऑन हाफ वेव रेक्टिफिकेशन and now today our topic is on full wave bridge rectification and full wave transformer rectification and uh, in this lecture there are two type of there are two types of full wave rectification we will discuss these two types in our lecture what is rectification the conversion of ac input signal into the dc output signal is called rectification so we basically have to convert ac signal into the dc signal so we have a circuit here full wave bridge rectifier we have a bridge like circuit here so that's why we called it as the bridge rectifier and uh, we will have the full wave here this is the full wave positive halves and negative halves and we will get both positive and negative halves so that's why we called it as the full wave bridge rectifier circuit it will convert both ac halves into the dc halves so it will convert both ac both positive and negative ac halves into the dc halves so here is the circuit here are the two di d1 diode and d2 diode are in this position here this is p type and it is n type okay it is p type and it is n type i n type uh, but the diode d3 and d4 are connected into the opposite positions it is n type it is p type it is n type and it is p type here in between d and b there is a resistance r and uh, this is our transformer why we don't use here the battery the question is why we don't use here the battery because battery provide us the dc signals dc input signals not the ac input signals to get the ac input signals we have to use the transformer it provide us the signals in the form of pulses in the form of ripples it will provide us the positive pulse once and in the second it will provide us the negative pulse so we use the transformer here so this is the circuit diagram of full wave bridge rectifier this is the point a this is the point b this is point c and this is the point d a rectifier for for positive half cycle let us consider we have a positive here and ne and negative here then in this case this is the diode its p terminal is connected to positive and this is the di diode for diode d4 our n terminal is connected to positive when uh, we have to learn uh, we have to kindly remember it when p is connected to positive terminal then we will have the uh, then we will have forward biased and we will have closed circuit when our n is connected to positive terminal then we will have reverse biased and we will have open circuit so in this case our p is connected to our p is connected to positive terminal so this diode will be forward biased and it will act as the closed circuit this diode will act as the open circuit because our n is connected to the positive terminal so current will flow in this direction and after this it will have two paths at this point it have two paths this is the path number 1 and this is the path number 
so it will move in this path at this point it will have two paths number one is this path and number two is this path now at this path here is the end and you can see that here is the n so the current will not flow into the reverse biasing so here will be the open circuit current will flow flow into the into this direction current will flow through resistance r at this point it will have again two points this it can move in this direction and it can move in this direction so this is the open circuit current will not flow here current will flow here this is the closed circuit and p is connected here so current will flow here and reaches to the t uh, point t2 so this is the current flow diagram here the current flow is shown and in this case let us suppose we have the signal like this then our positive half will be appeared into the output signal now rectifier for negative half cycle now we will take the rectification for this negative half cycle for this negative half cycle let us pause now second pulse came and we will have negative here and positive here in this case we have negative here and positive here in this case our current will start to flow from here current cannot start to flow flow from here because here is the p and p is connected to negative and is connected to negative we have the condition we must have to follow this condition p is connected to positive but here the p is connected to negative so in this case current start to flow from here and current start to flow from t2 and at this point it will have two where it will have two paths to move number one path is this number two path is this in this case p is connected to positive so it will be forward biased it will be the closed circuit current will move to flow here current will not flow here because here you can see it it is n type which is connected to the positive terminal so it will be open circuit here now at this point current have two two ways again number one is the resistance way number two is this way so ag again current will flow through the resistance because this side is the open why this side is open again here is the n side which is connected here so it will be open here it here the diode will be reverse biased current will flow here when current reaches at this point it will have again two paths so it will move upward because here is the open circuit here the p is connected so current will flow here and reaches to the t1 terminal so in this way the current will flow uh, so in this way rectification for the negative half cycle will be done this is the negative half cycle but remember that when our diode p side when p is connected to the positive terminal okay when vi is connected to p side then we will have only the positive half cycles when the diode is connected in this direction then we will have only the positive half cycles to get the negative to to get the negative half cycles the current will have to flow from t1 and move into in this direction like this 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 and this 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 and reaches to this to get the negative half cycles but to get the positive half cycles current have to flow from t2 and we will get vm here vm is the maximum voltage so when the note that when our current start to flow from p terminal 
then we will have only the positive half cycles and when our current flow from n terminal then in that case we will have the negative half cycles in both cases we initiated our current to flow from p terminals these are the p terminals of diode and in this case current again flow from p terminals so we will have positive half cycles to get negative half cycles our current will have to flow from n terminal so this is our input uh, this is our input voltage and we will get the output voltage like this this is our dc level dc level is here but in this case our dc level will be here uh, this uh, this is not in dc form this half cycle is not in the dc form this is again in the ac form we have to use filter to convert this ac form into the dc form now uh, for uh, half wave rectifier our v dc level is here but in case of in output voltage but in case of full wave rectifier our v dc level is increased it is now here in case of half wave rectifier our v dc level is about here now uh, for half wave rectifier we have v dc is equal to 0.318 vm vm is the maximum voltage v dc is the dc voltage and this is equal to 0.318 multiplied by vm but in case of full wave rectifier we have two positive peaks and our v dc level is increased up so we will multiply this term by 2 and we will get 0.636 vm applying kvl equation to positive half cycle we have drawn here the positive half cycle and for the positive half cycle this and this diode are open and our current flow in this direction this 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 and this direction so in this case applying kvl equation so for kvl equation all of the positive voltages is equal to all of the uh, all of the input volt voltages will be equal to the all of output voltages so in this case input voltage is applied here vi and then at this point we will have the voltage vk in the diode d1 at this point we will have the voltage v not which is the output voltage and it will be across the resistance r at this point again we have we will have the voltage vk and uh, in this case vi is the input voltage vk plus v not plus vk vi will be equal to vk plus v not plus vk and we will have v not plus 2 vk and v not will be equal to vi minus 2 vk v 2 vk will be moved onto the other side of equation and it will be negative when we will have the maximum when we will we want to get the maximum output voltage then in that case we will have to apply the maximum input voltage so in terms of maximum v not to be maximum we will have vi to be maximum which will be equal to vm minus 2 vk so v not will be equal to vm minus 2 vk this is for the positive half cycle this will be same for the negative half cycle these similar equations will be applied to negative half cycle and we will get the similar equation for the negative half cycle and the peak inverse voltage will be greater than or equal to vm as the peak inverse voltage will be shown here at this point and this will be equal to the applied maximum input voltage or greater than equal 
टू दिस अप्लाइड मैक्सिमम इनपुट वोल्टेज 